okay so their best bundle this month made 1200 then the next one almost a thousand another one almost a thousand 800 700 600 if you add this all up it's probably like 10k to 20k a month from selling digital products i'm going to be controversial but in my opinion selling digital print on demand products is more profitable and easier than doing actual print on the demand on Etsy. Let me explain. So as some of you guys know, I sell both digital and print on demand products on Etsy. And I can tell you by far that digital products sell way better in my opinion than the print on demand. Another problem with the print on demand is that it's very random. I have over 700 listings and maybe like 10 of those are actually getting consistent sales. While my digital stores, almost 50% of the listings get sales consistently. The conversion rate on my print on demand store is about 1%. And on my digital stores, well, it's anything from five to 10%. And Etsy is full of people that want to do print on demand and understand the business, but they need the design. Why not sell to them? Let me show you some stats. So let's look up some keywords that someone that wants to do print on demand will look for. So one of them would be design, right? So the word design has over 5,000 monthly searches, which is a lot. And this is the type of stuff they're gonna see. So they're gonna see some simulation. Here's a cat wallpaper design sold over 48 times this month and 800 times in total. Here's this little ghost that sold 86 times this month. You get the idea, but let's look up some other keywords. Let's try prints, which has seven and a half thousand monthly searches. And again, those are digital prints of wall art. So it's not the physical wall art it's a digital print of it here's one for example it's just a digital image that sold 17 times okay let's try last keyword okay let's try t-shirt okay 1400 multi searches it's a little bit less but still a lot something like this is so easy to make like this zombie mom or this one spooky season dude this is so easy to make i'm gonna show you in a minute how to make those 246 sales this month thousand in overall and this is probably not the only thing this store is selling let's actually analyze the whole store how much this store is making a month from their listings okay so their best bundle this month made 1200 then the next one almost a thousand another one almost a thousand eight hundred seven hundred six hundred if you add this all up it's probably like 10k to 20k a month from selling digital products okay so now i convinced you to start selling digital products but you need a tool that will help you to do that okay and lucky enough we have a tool that allows you to use ai to help you with design and create mock-ups all in one place and the tool is called Kittle, and it's the best software for designers i'm going to show you how to use it and by the way guys if you want me to drop a video where I'm gonna show you and compare the results I get from print on demand and the results I get from my digital stores say the word results in the comments and I'm gonna drop that video next okay so let's say I want to create something Halloween-ish like this this has sold 132 times this month it's a brand new listing it's only two months old and this thing has generated $800 in revenue so I want to create this like cute ghost which Kittle will allow me to do it check this out so this is Kittle it's the best designer software, okay? Kittle is free to use, but there are some premium features that you need to pay extra and you need to get their subscription plan. But lucky enough, if you use my link that I have in the description of this video and you use the coupon code that you see on the screen, you're gonna get a discount because I'm that guy and I want you to save money. So you welcome my friend and I'm gonna show you how to use this tool. So this is what you're gonna see. This is like the main dashboard, okay? This is where you're gonna see templates and they have really cool templates. They have really cool fonts. Kittle is very famous for their fonts because they have the best fonts, okay? But you can design t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, hats, logos. It doesn't matter. They have tons of different products, okay? So let's say we wanna design a t-shirt. You can just click on it and just look up their designs, okay? So these are like, the pre-made design that you can just click on it and modify it. So let's say I want to modify this one, okay? I can click on it and then I can play with the design. So I can move this around, I can change the text, I can uh, change the font and stuff like that. So it's really cool. But let me show you how to create something from the scratch. So again, I'm gonna try to create something similar to this. Not exactly this thing, but something in that style because it's Halloween, so people are gonna look for this type of products, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on new project and when it says resolution, I'm gonna type in 300. A lot of people are gonna look for the high resolution products and then the width and the height adjusted for the square of 5,000 by 5,000, which is perfect. I'm gonna click on create. This is what we want. And this is our 
uh, artboard, okay? Kit tool already has a lot of elements ready. So if you click right here where it says elements, you can uh, find their icons, photos, art that's already made. So for example, if I want a ghost, I can just type in a ghost, for example. And here you go. Here's like a bunch of happy ghosts, okay? Or here's, for example, some uh, ghosts and pumpkins. Or, you know, these lovely ghosts that are in love and things like that. And I can change the colors. I can make them bigger. I can make it more transparent and things of the nature. You, you can play around, okay? But we want to create something custom. We want to create something new. So Kittle has a built-in AI, which is really cool and really good. So if you go to Kittle AI, this is what you're going to see, okay? They also allow you to create stuff in a similar size. So once you create one, you can kind of create multiple. So for example, if you're trying to create multiple clip art objects, this can tool can be very, very useful for you, okay? They even have a Kito AI for text, okay? Really cool stuff. But we're gonna go with their simple image generator and they already have a bunch of different styles ready, okay? So they have the image styles that you can pick, so digital art, maybe something more photographic. They have patterns, okay? They have wall art and clip art styles. We're probably gonna go with this one for our project. And they also have vectors, which a lot of people that are buying sub simulation products for print on demand and vectors and stuff like that, are gonna look for too, which is really, really cool. And you can also upload your own custom styles as well. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do with their AI, okay? But anyway, we're gonna go with this one, t-shirt graphic okay because that's kind of what we're looking for that's what we're trying to create so i'm going to select this style this is the style i'm looking for and i'm going to describe what i'm looking for so i'm looking for a happy ghost wearing a witch hat with coffee in his hand and uh, let's see what's going to happen okay let's see what type of image the Kito AI is gonna generate. All right, this is cool. This is exactly kind of what I'm looking for. The ghost is happy, has this little Starbucks coffee in the hand. Dude, this is this is awesome, okay? But the I'm not sure if this is transparent, so it actually checks. So we're gonna change the uh, background color to something a little bit different than white. Okay, it's not transparent, but check this out. Kittle has a background removal built in. All you have to do, just click on AI background removal and check this out. It's gonna change it to transparent. Boom, now it's transparent. Great, I'm gonna switch color to white again so I can, uh, it's gonna be easy for me to work with, okay? But now we need a little bit of text. Like right here we have, a, I put the boo in the bougie. Funny, I get it. We're gonna create something similar. So we're gonna go to text and we're gonna browse their fonts. And Kit Tool again, have really, really cool fonts. A lot of customizable fonts. We're gonna look for something Halloween-ish. I think that's how you say it, right? Uh, this one says spooky, perfect. So this is kind of what we're looking for. It even has a colors kind of that we're looking for. So I'm gonna put this on the top right here. And the cool thing about Kit Tool fonts that they are highly customizable. So for example, if I wanna change the colors of the colors kind of the ghost is using, I can just select right here and then select the color that interests me. So let's say I wanted this orangish one. And now the top is kind of orangish one, but I can also change the color of the of the bottom as well let's say i want to change it to i don't know maybe um this color of blue and now i change the color of this design to this one okay you, you get the idea it's really cool it's really customizable but what i really like about Kittle the most is their way that you can customize their font so you literally can set it up like you can do some crazy combinations, okay? You can do something ridiculous like that. But we're gonna do an arch, okay? We're gonna do an arch, something like that. Perfect, and let's say spooky. Uh, we're gonna keep it spooky. And then the next word we're gonna use, we're gonna put one in the bottom. We're gonna change the curve to be more like this. Perfect. And we're gonna say coffee, okay? All right, perfect, this looks interesting okay this looks very interesting i like what i'm seeing okay we got our initial design but let's add a couple elements to make it more fun okay so i'm gonna use the kit tool design elements and let's say i'm, I'm gonna add some bat i want to add a bat okay so i'm gonna type in bat and here are some of the bats that kit tool has already built in so let's say i want to add this guy right here i'm gonna change its color to uh, maybe this Let's, let's, yeah, let's, let's make it uh, black. Let's make it smaller and maybe in an angle just like that. Okay, 
And let's maybe add one more bat. Let's maybe add this guy right here. Let's put in an angle, something like that. And boom, all right? I like it. I don't know about you guys, but I like it. And I make this in like a couple minutes, okay? So now I can just download it and start selling Letsy. But Kittle has a built-in mock-up generator, which is awesome, okay? Because it's really good. Let me show you what I mean by that. This is our competitor. And they have these designs shown in the mock-ups, which is really cool because if you do this type of stuff, you show your customers this type of images, they know exactly how to use this product. You want to include mock-ups, okay? In my opinion, this store should have more mock-ups. They should probably have like 12 mock-ups. They only have two. Uh, with Kittle, it's very easy to add custom mock-ups. Check this out. So this is our design, right? But all I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here. It says mock-up. And they have so many, dude. They have so many. This is like the basic one, okay? But you can just type in T-shirt, for example. Okay? And they have so many different uh, designs. This is cool. Check this out. So let's say I want to pick this one. And why this is interesting, because they have mock-ups, they adjust to like the surface. Like you see the girl standing like kind of in an angle and her t-shirt is like this. So the design is not flat. It's actually like kind of adjusting the angles and the 3D, uh, 3D design on her t-shirt. You know what I mean? Like just adjusting to where she, the, the, how she's standing. Okay, that's really, really cool. Okay, but maybe besides t-shirt, I also want to include a mug. So let's say I want to a mug mock-up and let's pick uh, like a weird one. Oh, this one this one it looks hard to use because it has all these elements but check this out okay i can put it up like this and it looks so natural okay it looks so natural and has the smoke so everyone using it kind of visualize like oh yeah my coffee it smells really good in the morning and i have a cool cup with this spooky design like kittle is cool kittle is really really cool and they have so many of those. And when you are done, ready, you can download it. You can also change the colors. So check this out. I want the cup to be red or I want the cup to be black or whatever, whatever color you want. It. You can just, you know, this one kind of stands out, this red one. I kind of like it. Again, guys, if you want to use Kittle, I have a link for it down below in the description of this video. And if you want to get access to their premium stuff, use the coupon code that you can see on the screen. You're going to save a lot of money. But Kittle is the best. If you're looking for a tool that has everything in one place for print on demand, for digital stuff, for other things, I think this is a winner. You get the most for your buck. So instead of buying a bunch of different softwares from a bunch of different companies, you can just get one and that is Kittle. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, say the word results if you wanna see the video where I compare my print on demand and digital stores monthly results. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you next time. Take care. See ya.